So who comes to open fire? <laughs> you, you may disagree with me. It's very open yeah. to discussion. It's used to it. Left-wing 
theoreticians and intellectuals, there has been, um, I mean, the, the election of Trump and the 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 uh, the, the rise in, in popularity of parties like Rassemblement National, etc., has has reactualized the question of the working class in Europe and the U.S. Because it, it, it kind of like the, the, the short wrong analysis of Trump and Rassemblement National, etc., would be that they are. That, that, that Trump and, and uh, Le Pen are, are the, the genuine expression of the abandoned French and American working class. So what we, the left, have to do is somehow to 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 address that neglect, that, that, that somehow uh, through the neoliberalization of, of, of socialism and, and, and uh, social democracy in Europe, we somehow we ended up abandoning the working class and, and, and uh, due to de industrialization etc., they are now the prey of these late fascist uh, politicians. Mm -hmm. But, but um, and so, so this is, for instance, in, in, in both in France and in Germany, this is often staged uh, within the context of the reception of um, Didier Rebon's book, uh, Retour à Rheims, <laughs> where, where he talks about uh, he returns to his his, uh, his native city and his uh, family and all of the people there. And he was the biographer of Foucault. Mm. Oh. Yeah, the first biographer of Foucault. Mm. Yeah, mm. and 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 he 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 he, uh, he he's written a book where he he returns to his his uh, hometown and uh, explains somehow how there's a there's a split between Paris and the province. Uh, and that book, I'm, I'm not sure it's in the book, but it, I mean, in the reception of the book in France and, in, in, and also in Germany, uh, has, has been to argue that, of course, we have to return to some kind of, uh, I mean, old socialist working class uh, uh, politics. So we have to we have to again talk about the working class. We have to take their concerns uh, serious. And one way to do that would then be through the link or Mélenchon or Corbyn, etc., address the working class and talk, talk, talk about them and to them. Um, but of course, that means just uh, that's a, that, that would be. I think that's also present in, in the U.S. and someone like Bernie Sanders. That of course would mean giving up on some of the most important parts of the new left's critique of Marxism in the first place. And, and kind of like the, the, the good part of what we would a really bad term call identity politics. That would mean actually giving up on the critique of, of Black Lives Matter, for instance. Because, it, this, this, because this, is, this is just reaffirming the nationalization of the working class, which was part of the problem to, to start out with. Uh, so, so, so that's why that there's, 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 there's these different attempts to, to, uh, to kind of like um, critique identity politics and say that the, 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 the reason for the election of Trump was that Clinton abandoned Hillary Clinton abandoned the working class and talked in, in the, the term, term talked in terms of identity politics and affirmative action etc and and of course that ad, that alienated the white working class the analysis then goes so we have to we have probably to abandon uh, identity politics and these notions of multicultural etc and return to an idea of the working class and their concerns um, but but it, of course it's 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 a, it's, a, it's a completely it's a misunderstanding of the situation and the entanglements of racism and capitalism because the, I mean it's, in a certain sense it's 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 a return to a, an already flawed understanding of of uh, the relationship between capital and labor but but it's it's, it's an attempt to kind of like um, abandon identity politics in favor of of uh, some kind of um, working class politics or working class analysis uh, and I think what and, and more interesting or more relevant uh, proposal would of course try to um, go back to the initial critique uh, of the new left or Western Marxism kind of like the, the, the expansion of, of, of Western Marxism and the I mean of course already dead in the 20s and 30s and critical theory and surrealism etc uh, because they were I 
mean, the Soviets were very aware of what was going on in, in French colonies, Morocco, Nigeria, etc. Uh, and trying to take that serious and take that as a starting point for, for an attempt to uh, you know, like a rethinking of of, uh, of Marxist analysis of, of the present conjuncture. So, so not abandoning uh, a, a Marxist uh, critique of political economy, but of course, uh, somehow going back to, I don't know, 1972, <laughs> or, you know, uh, Deleuze and and Deleuze when when we're trying to rethink the relationship between history and revolutionary subjectivity, trying to expand the concept of, or, or, the, or, or the, 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 con yeah, the concept of the proletariat, to not, of course, only be the industrial working class, because that, that's what we see in Mélenchon and Corbyn and Sanders, that they, they're, they're trying to reintroduce the notion of the, I mean, the, the national industrial working class, and trying to, 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 to create an, some kind of image or like specter of the working class, and trying to regain that from Trump or from Marine Le Pen, etc., the, the thereby then ditching kind of the, the, the super important uh, like self-critique of Western Marxism, but also what the most important part of <coughs> what we could call identity politics. And I think that the, so, so, so the important project becomes, uh, I mean, it's then how to work with these uh, try, to, try, to, try, to, try to figure out the relationship between uh, political economy, critique of political economy, and have something we could, with a bad term, have talk about as political anthropology, perhaps, or questions that has to do with race. Um, are they? Are they? Can we think them together, or are they just? Uh, is it just not possible to to create some kind of, of totality? I would like to 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 do that, but but it's a. Uh, it's, it's one of the really big challenges, I think, right now, trying to figure out how they are related. I mean, someone like, I, I, I made reference to Frank, Frank Wilderson, for instance, uh, and Afro-pessimism. Afro and of course, they would argue that that's, that's not possible. Their argument is that, that uh, blacks in, in the US, but also elsewhere, uh, because of uh, being enslaved, because of slavery, uh, has 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 uh, has been turned into a kind of non-subject. Um, so, civil society, politics, the state form, all of these political forms are founded on the exclusion of the black body. This means for Wilderson that it's impossible to create any kind of political alliance between, for instance, Occupy and Black Lives Matter. It's it's just not impossible because. This will, this will always, I mean, this eventually for, for, for someone like Wilderson, this will, this will uh, end up uh, with another like, black genocide. The, the, the black, the black uh, non-subject will, will, will eventually uh, end up being shot by the police or by the, by the white activist or, or whomever. This is this notion of gratuitous violence. That is, it's it's cost free to kill black people in in the U.S. because they are somehow still enslaved. They they, 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 they are still living in the remains of of, uh, of being enslaved and, and, and shipped to the U.S. And of, of, of course, I would try to uh, to uh, expand the notion of what he, what what he talks about when he talks about uh, blacks. And, 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 and try to, 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 to somehow fuse it with the notion of the proletariat. So, 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 so I would try to argue that, that it's more, it's a process. People are turned black, are becoming black in specific historical instances or uh, eras. And so so it's, not, it's, it's not only a process that, that has to do with people who are racialized black in the US uh, this, this would be more along the lines of some of, of, of uh, people like Fred Moulton and Stefano Hani, who has a, a, a slightly uh, broader or more loose definition of, of, uh, of blackness. Uh, but I think these are some of the most important questions. How, how, how to, 
to uh, how to come to terms with how race, racism, and capitalism are are related. And I think I, I think I think the notion of racial capitalism would 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 probably be one. I mean, they of course also people who work with the notion of racial capitalism pick up on Stuart Hall's famous like. Uh, phrasing where he, 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 he says in, in capitalist society race is the modality in which class is lived I mean as, as an attempt to somehow to 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 to, uh, to 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 address and talk about the entanglement of race and class and and, and, and of course Stuart Hall is I mean as a as a Marxist but as a post colonial Marxist or as someone who's very uh, well aware of the economic economistic tendencies of Marxism, so trying to be attentive to the way uh, capitalism is able to take on board and reconfigure already existing uh, racialized identities and use them to to uh, to uh, to uh, to split up, to fragment uh, the proletarians, people who who uh, are forced to who have nothing, who are property less and who are forced to, to sell their work and to sell their their labor in order to survive. Um well, I, I have a lot, uh, I mean, just uh, to add uh, some of my own thoughts, okay, because, uh, of course, according to Marx, uh, the primitive accumulation, mm -hmm. appropriation of land, mm -hmm. and also human labor, right? So human labor, uh, uh, Actually, globalization started uh, yeah. from slave mm -hmm. trade. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. uh, the U.S. also was built upon that. Mm -hmm. So that is the cheapest place. Yeah. And now uh, we are talking about, or you are talking about neoliberalism. Mm -hmm. okay. What's the difference between this uh, neoliberal uh, democratic state from this imperial uh, 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 colonial expansion? to get more land or mm -hmm. to get ch cheap pissed human labor okay, by uh, kidnapping mm -hmm. and or drafting mm -hmm. all these uh, mm -hmm. black slaves, okay, even though they are highly educated mm -hmm. in different con culture or uh, Islamic or uh, other cultures, uh, but they, they are slaves uh, in uh, different places. Uh, but those things are happening uh, in today's society in different forms. Mm. So when you talk about neoliberalism, mm. that is not only the financialization, that is uh, the territorialization, uh, territorial expansion is not only uh, physical territory, mm. of course it could be, yeah. okay, but there will there'll be also a uh, financial mm. I mean, or uh, the entrepreneurial expansion. Yeah. But that would also bring people uh, across continent and uh, across region. And so the, the proletariat uh, will not only be the black, but also even and other foreign migrant workers, Mexican domestic helpers, mm. everything. So um, so if, if we really want to talk about the Uja and the global Uja and this uh, proletariat, we, we need to think this nationalization of working class mm. is actually um, also a conservative and self-protective uh, this uh, uh, a nationalist uh, concept right, mm. that would exclude uh, other uh, working class mm. people facing on certain situations. Not to mention those uh, black people, black citizens, they do not share equal status mm. European or so everyone is equal before law, that is a fake mm. concept, fake for the, in all democratic countries. Mm. Uh, it's very true in South uh, uh, Asia, but uh, it's also very true in the US. So, um, so I was asking how this uh, fascism mm -hmm. and uh, uh, state and capitalism can be linked. For, so for example, uh, Occupy and Wall Street, mostly are by the middle class students and 
encounters uh, mobilizing white uh, mm -hmm. working class. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so, uh, but also, so, so just, uh, I, I think we need some uh, different model for this uh, contemporary uh, so-called racialization. Mm -hmm. uh, the other day I was uh, talking about so-called color, color line. Nowadays it's just power line, mm -hmm. power uh, poverty line. And the, the metamorphosis of capital or capitalism uh, or export, uh, exploitation, they take different forms. So in this uh, neoliberal mind, globalization, how an applied fund uh, act or perform this way? and how 